ng Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, my dear Valenzuelano learners. Welcome to another episode of UCSP, an informative and fun way of learning to understand culture, society, and politics. Join me as we study concepts, characteristics, and forms of stratification. Before we begin, I would like to remind you of the following. First, prepare your pen, your notebook, and learning module. Second, observe proper netiquette and use the chat box in answering questions. Lastly, participate and stay focused in our discussion. Today's most essential learning competency is to examine the concept, characteristics, and forms of stratification system using sociological perspective. Last week, we have learned the importance and function of education. Now, let's try to recall what you have learned from the previous discussion using the game Fact or Bluff. You are going to identify if a given statement is truthful or not. Click the heart button if you are ready. Let us have the first one. Tertiary education is a type of education that is offered by private and public colleges and universities. Is it a fact or a bluff? Okay, correct. The answer is fact. Let us have another one. Creating business is the primary function of education. Is it a fact or a bluff? The correct answer is love. Let us have the last one. Deaf ed regulated our primary and secondary education. Is it a fact or a blog? You got it right. The answer is fact. Always remember that education serves as the most significant aspect of our society and a powerful tool to become a catalyst of change. Now, to start our lesson for today, let's do our first activity. What are you going to do is to guess the title of the song that I will be going to play. Use our comment section to give your answers. Are you ready? Let us have the first one. Okay, what do you think is the title of the song? Correct! The title of the song is Supuan by Clock Nine. Let us have the next one. Okay, now what do you think is the title of the song?
You got it right. The title of the song is Tatsulo, sung by Bamboo. Like in the song, it says that society is composed of different individuals who possess different characteristics and are born in different circumstances. They have different attributes, different levels of power, wealth, and prestige, which causes inequality among members of a society. Are you aware about the social stratification in our country? Everything from the social status and prestige, to the kind of job that you can have, to your chances of living in poverty are affected by social stratification. Social stratification refers to society's categorization of the people in the ranking of socioeconomic tires based on the factors like wealth, income, race, education, and power. On the top of the layers are the people who have more resources, while the others who have fewer resources represent the lower layers of our society. The status of the people is determined by social strata, and this can include wealth and income, social class, ethnicity, gender, political status, and religion. In contemporary period, the Philippine society is divided into three categories, the upper class, the middle class, and the lower class. The upper class has high personal income, like the CEO, investors, high successful professionals, those with inherited wealth, and economic influence. While the middle class is also called as the rising class, it includes small businessmen, teachers, merchants, and traders with modest income. And this individual can choose their own lifestyle because they have resources without compromising their basic needs. On the other hand, the lower class earn with low income, with little or no savings, and they are usually unemployed. They are incapable to buy their basic needs. In social stratification, social mobility is also noticeable. When we say social mobility, it refers to the movement of one individual or group from one social class to another. Stratification isn't just a matter of economic forces, job changes, and social inequalities. It is also about beliefs. A society's cultural beliefs also tell us how to categorize people. Sociologists classify stratification system as either closed system or open system. In a closed system, individuals have no chances of moving either up or down in the ladder of social stratification since it allows a little social mobility. It is also based on ascribed status. It refers to the social position inherits at birth. Example, the next king of England, Prince Charles, who is the son of Queen Elizabeth II. While in the open system, people have more chances of moving up or down in the ladder of social stratification. Social mobility can be also upward or downward, and the social position are tends to be achieved, not ascribed. Achieved status refers to the social position based on individual's achievement, effort, or award. An example of achieved status is Manny Pacquiao because he achieved his current status because of his efforts and achievements. Let's take a look with some examples of closed system. Caste system is a system of inherited inequality. It assumes that each person is preordained a place and occupation in a society at birth. The best example of this is Indias caste system. Let us take a look at this picture. In their traditional caste system, it contains four large divisions called the Varnas. At the bottom part of this large division, you can see the Dalits or the untouchable, which is also called as the outcast. In here, caste system not only determine what jobs were acceptable, 
but it also controls the members' everyday lives and life outcomes. Another example is states, and it is found mostly in the European society in the medieval period. In this system, men are assigned their strata according to birth, military strength, and land holdings. The normal division were threefold, the clergy, the nobility, and the commoners. Examples that we mentioned are both based on ancestry and lineage as the main principle of stratification. But in some places like South Africa, race can be used as the basis of stratification. Example of this is apartheid, which legally enforced separation between the black and the white people. Slavery is also observed in some agrarian societies where slaves are the asset in production. On the other hand, class system combines ascribed status and personal achievement in a way that it allows social mobility. In the class system, the access in education is considered as a ticket to success to advance on one's social mobility. This is supported by Bell's theory on education-based metrocracy, where education is viewed as the greatest social equalizer. Therefore, our society is open to the movement of an individual from a lower class to relatively higher class. According to Peter Rim Sorokin in his book Social and Cultural Mobility, he emphasizes that there is no society that is completely open and no society that is completely closed. Mobility provides people benefit because they are motivated by different factors in the society to aim for better standard way of living. To know the different types of mobility, let's have our next activity, which is the scrambled word game. What you need to do is to arrange the jumbled letters to reveal the type of social mobility being described in the given statement. Are you ready? Let us have the first set of jumbled letters. It is a change in religious, territorial, political, or occupational shift with no change in vertical position. Correct! The answer is horizontal or horizontal mobility. Example of this is when a person changes occupation, but the overall social standing remains unchanged. Let us have the next one. It is a change in the occupational, political, religious status that causes change in societal position. You got it right. The answer is vertical or vertical mobility. In this type of mobility, an individual moves from one social stratum to another and it can be ascending or descending. Let us have the next set of jumbled letters. This is when an individual moves from a lower position to a higher position. The correct answer is upward or upward mobility. Like in the case of Senator Manny Pacquiao, due to its lot of achievements from lower position before, he is now in the higher position in our social class. On the other hand, when an individual moves from a higher position to a lower position, it is known as the downward mobility. Let us have the last one. It is the change in the societal position that occurs during a lifespan of a single generation. That's right! The answer is intragenerational mobility. On the other hand, when social position changes from one position to another and the change can be upward or downward, it is called as intergenerational mobility. Now, click the wow button if you guess the four jumble words correctly. There are factors
factors that can affect social mobility and status like land ownership, political dynasty, education, and achievement. Let's proceed to the different theoretical perspective about social stratification. The first one is functionalism, where stratification is necessary to induce people with special intelligence, knowledge, and skill. According to David Moore, the greater the functional importance of a social role, the greater must be the reward. Example, some tasks in the society are more valuable than others and qualified people filling this position must be rewarded. The next one is conflict theory. In here, stratification results from lack of opportunity, from discrimination and prejudice against poor, women, and people of color. In here, the winners who are the rich and powerful stays on top while the poor stays at the bottom of the pyramid. The last one is symbolic interactionism, where stratification affects beliefs, lifestyle, daily interaction, and conception about themselves. Example, social status can be seen in the type of house, way of dressing, fashion accessories, hairstyle, and even transportation. These are the main points of what we discussed for today. Social stratification is therefore a classification where people are ranked and evaluated based on the wealth, authority, influence, and status. It is not just about the individual inequalities, but on the systematic inequalities based in the group membership and classes. Characteristic of social stratification are it is social, it is Asian, it is universal, diverse in forms, and consequential. Sociologists classify stratification system as either closed system or open system. Social mobility, an individual can move from one social class to another. Theories of social stratification are functionalism, conflict, and symbolic interactionism. Before we end our discussion, let us see how much have you learned from today's lesson. Comment your answer in our comment section. Let me read the questions for you. Number one, it refers to the theories that affects the beliefs, lifestyle, and everyday interaction of every individual. A. Conflict perspective B. Functionalist perspective C. Linear perspective D. Symbolic interruption You have 5 seconds to answer. If your answer is letter D, you are correct. For number 2, all the classification of stratification in the society except A. Pyramid system B. Caste system C. Class system D. State system If your answer is letter A, you are correct. For number 3, in the Philippines, one can go up or down freely in the ladder of social stratification. This type of society is characterized as blank. A. Closed system B. State system C. Caste system D. Open system If your answer is letter D, open system, you are correct. For number four, when an individual moves from a lower position to a higher position, it is called as blank. A, downward mobility. B, horizontal mobility. C, upward mobility. D, intergenerational mobility. If your answer is letter C, you are correct. For the last question, what is the type of social stratification 
that is non-existent in the most society in contemporary period, tracing its roots in the Middle Ages. A. Caste system. B. Slavery. C. States. D. Social class. If your answer is letter C, you are correct. Well done! Still have questions and point of clarifications regarding our topic for today? You may ask your respective subject teacher in your follow-up session. I hope you learned something from today's discussion. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Stay safe and have a good day.